I've taught squash for a long time, and over the years I've found that there are a few small things that players can do that can make a huge difference to their game. Now, I'm going to share with you three squash tips that I never thought I would share with my online students, but with the coronavirus situation, it's probably time that I do that. If you're old enough to know anything about wooden rackets, you'll know that on the side of the frame, it nearly always used to say, due to the nature of the game, this frame cannot be guaranteed against breakage. Now, this comes from the late 70s, early 80s. This comes from the 80s itself. And even in the 80s, it still had a disclaimer. Jump to around the 90s, and the disclaimer is gone. There's no disclaimer anymore because, of course, wooden rackets were not as strong and the early graphite and composite rackets were stronger than the wooden rackets, but still not quite strong. And then, of course, as time goes on, they get stronger. Now, the reality is that you still break rackets. Of course you do. And frames can never be guaranteed. But here is one secret tip that I don't think you will find anywhere else to stop that happening. What you need to do is you need to take some string and you need to wrap it around the top of the frame in these two places. These two places are normally the place where the racket would hit the wall. Now, string is the perfect thing for this because one, it's quite light. It will change the weight. It will change the weight by about four grams, which is about the weight of a grip. Um, and it will change the balance. It will make it slightly head heavier. But string is the best option of all the things that I've tried over the many years that I've been doing this. Uh, you push string around, you tie a knot, you wrap it around, and then you tie another, another knot. You can add a little bit of glue if you want to. Um, putting both of these on took me about 20 minutes, and this will stop 90% of the breakages because the string is absorbent enough that it dissipates any damaging resonance in the racket. Now, you could go crazy and do it all the way across the top, but that would definitely change the balance and definitely make it no noticeably much heavier. So you only need to do it in these two places. Uh, the first few times that you do it, you're probably not very good at it, and it probably takes you a little bit longer. But as you get better and better and do it more regularly, you'll be able to do it quite quickly. You'll get a lot of people asking, but you don't need to tell them what it's for. But this will stop 90% of rackets from breaking. So that's the, that's the first tip. Tip number two is to do with the grip. Now, I've made a couple of videos. Link here is the latest one for Squash for Beginners about how to hold the racket. Link in the text description as well. And let's be honest, changing your grip can be one of the most difficult things that you have to do when it comes to the technical aspect of playing squash. Having the right grip though, means that you have more control of the ball and you'll be able to hit the ball harder because it changes the way you swing. So, what can you do, the, to, what can you do to ease that process of changing the grip? Well, you can go to bed and you can sleep holding the racket. Yeah, I know that that sounds crazy, um, but go to bed, don't squeeze too tightly, go to bed and just sort of sleep. And of course you'll be saying, but Philip, the racket will fall out of my hand. As I relax, the racket will fall out of your hand. Of course it will, but there's a solution to that too. Tape the racket to your hand. You get your grip, tape the racket in uh, to your hand with just some masking tape, then you'll be able to sleep with the, the hand in the right place all night. You'll need to be a little bit careful because of course you've got the racket in your hand and you might get a bruise or two, but I guarantee that this will shorten, significantly shorten how long it takes you to get used to a new grip. Tip number three is to do with shoes. Now, a lot of people say that their feet get very, very hot when they play. And what do you do when something gets hot? You cool it down. So tip number three is to put your shoes in the freezer for about half an hour before you go and play squash. Now, if you've got a long journey, that's going to be difficult. If you're away for a whole tournament, that's going to be difficult. But 
If you find that your feet get really hot, you could take one of those ice packs. You could put the ice pack around or even put it inside the shoe. You could put that away. And then when it comes time to play, then you put your shoes on. But if you're you know, normally playing, you can put your shoes in the freezer half an hour before you play and then take them out, put them in your bag, get to the court, put your shoes on, and they should still be actually pretty cold. Now, if you can't do that, you could try the, the fridge. Um, you need to leave them in there for a little bit longer, um, but the, the freezer seems to be the best option because that sort of cools them down really, really quickly. And the, the, the cold seems to stay in the shoe for longer, I don't know. You might find that the grip is better. That's more anecdotal because it's more about keeping your feet cool and that will should stop, not will, but should stop getting blisters. So that was tip number three, shoes in the freezer. All right, so there were my three secret tips. Don't share them with anybody because you don't want to give your opponent an advantage. If you try them, post a comment and we'll all see what happens and I'll respond to those comments. This is a button for subscribing to my channel. If you think my content is useful, please consider doing that. This is a link to a variety of different types of squash videos that I've made. And this is a link to a video that YouTube thinks will be a really interesting video for you based on what you've been watching. Remember, do something every single day to improve your squash. See ya.